what's going on guys it's max max 24 and october is now over we have entered the month of november which means it's time for another fancy blu-ray video game funko pop figure haul but before we get into that please always remember to drop a like comment subscribe to our friends and all just all the fun with us youtubers tell you guys to do follow me on social media twitter facebook instagram i have links on twitter on facebook barely on instagram follow me on instagram subscribe to me here and follow me on tiktok because i got a lot of followers down there if you're new here every month i do this video where i show you all the movies and video games and funko pops that i bought in that month and this is that video let me know in the comments what you picked up in the month of October. Let me know what things you like that I picked up. Let me know what things you really want to go find in November. And without further ado, let's get into all of the movies, Funko Pops, and video games that I picked up in the month of October. We're going to start off with the movies. Now, some of these movies I owned in previous formats like DVD or Blu-ray that I decided to upgrade to something like a Blu-ray or a 4K. Some of these are brand new additions to my collection. So first up, I picked up doctor who the day of the doctor this is the 50th anniversary of doctor who it brought back david Tennant as the 10th doctor alongside matt smith in the new iteration the war doctor it's a phenomenal 50th anniversary if you don't watch doctor who you really should go watch doctor who. it's been my all-time favorite show and i'm so glad i get to add the 50th anniversary to my collection along with that i picked up the complete first series now it's technically not the first series this is the ninth doctor it's not the first doctor this is the first series in their reboot for those of you who don't know doctor who went off the air for a little while and came back in 2005 with a reboot with the ninth doctor and this is his season he only got one season but his season was so much fun and introduced me to doctor who you cannot skip out on nine all right some people say to start with 10 or 11 watch nine Along with that, I picked up another of the classic seasons. This one is the third Doctor's second season. They've been doing these classic re-releases of the old seasons because it's very hard to find classic Who in a current format unless you pay, subscribe to BritBox. So this, they've been slowly re-releasing the classic Who on Blu-ray and I've been slowly buying the collection. There's about three I still don't own. This is the latest one I was able to pick up. I believe they have one fourth Doctor one I don't have and then both of the six doctors that i don't have i believe but yeah i'm super excited i get to add this to my collection because i want to watch all of doctor who 50 something plus years of content there then this one is an upgrade i had this in dvd inception and i found this for really cheap at a goodwill i would have waited and held out until a 4k release happened but it was cheap and i was like okay i'll this will tie me over until they inevitably release the 4k version I love Inception. It's a great Nolan film. It might be my favorite Nolan film, all right? Maybe The Dark Knight is a close one, but I think it's got to be Inception. Then along with that, I picked up the Alien 6 film collection. This is every single Alien film. The Alien franchise is definitely hit or miss. Alien and Aliens are phenomenal. Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection are not good. And then Prometheus is decent and Alien Covenant is decent. It's a hit or miss franchise, but it's a franchise that you just have to add to your collection if you're a sci-fi fan, if you're a horror fan, if you're anything like that. Then this is a, another brand new pickup for me, the female Ghostbusters. Now, I know there's a lot to be said about the female Ghostbusters, all right? I've said some stuff about it. I'm not a big fan of the female Ghostbusters, not really, because it's just not what the franchise needed. We wanted a Ghostbusters 3. We didn't want a reboot of Ghostbusters but we got a reboot of Ghostbusters. Now, that being said, I enjoy bits and pieces about this movie. I think it's funny, for the most part. I think the characters, the casting choices, are good. I think the effects are good. I think there's a lot of good elements in this movie, but it shouldn't have been a Ghostbusters. It should have been its own thing, or maybe a spoof. It played itself as the next Ghostbusters movie. You should go see it, but that's not what we wanted. We wanted a Ghostbusters 3. We didn't want a reboot. Even if this movie actually connected to the Ghostbusters 1 and 2, it probably would have it probably would have been received a lot better than it did. But because it was a complete new version, a complete reboot, it just was not good. Again, I enjoy bits and pieces but I enjoy bits and pieces of this movie, but it's not as good as Ghostbusters 1 and 2 and I cannot wait for Afterlife. Now, in the same vein, these two next pickups were upgrades. I had these in DVD, but I was like I should buy them in 4K. And that's Ghostbusters one and two phenomenal two movies ghostbusters one is great ghostbusters two is not as great but it's still pretty good and i had to fill up my ghostbusters collection before afterlife came out if you haven't seen ghostbusters 
you should go see Ghostbusters. I don't know why you haven't watched any Ghostbusters, but watch these two, then watch the female reboot, then watch Afterlife, all right? Just go do that. Then I picked up a brand new movie that came out this year, Free Guy. Free Guy was a movie that I was excited for when I got the trailers, but I didn't know how excited I was going to be or how good it was going to be. It looked like one of those fun Ryan Reynolds movies, and I was pleasantly surprised by the quality. This movie is a lot of fun. If you're a video game fan, you should go watch it. If you're a Ryan Reynolds fan, you should go watch it. If you like The Truman Show or Ready Player One or anything in between, you should go watch this. It's funny. It's got a lot of heart. It's got great chemistry, good acting. Take away TT's in it. It's just a fun movie filled with references, and you'll have a good time. It's not your typical summer blockbuster, all right? It's one that you'll rewatch and rewatch. It's not like a Fast and Furious movie. This movie, you'll sit down, you'll rewatch, you'll try to catch all the references, you'll keep doing that. And it's not like in your face references either. It's like off to the side, you know? Oh, maybe you know what this is. Well, it's off there. It's not like Ready Player One or Space Jam 2 or it's right in your face. Seriously, if you did not watch Free Guy, if you skipped out on Free Guy, that's a mistake, and you should watch Free Guy. Another brand new movie this year that I picked up is The Green Knight. The Green Knight is an adaptation of Sir Gowan and the Green Knight, which is an old Brit British uh, poem I read through school, through my Brit Lit class, like sophomore year of college, and I enjoyed the poem. I was excited when they announced this movie because I'm like, I want to see a movie version of this, and I was pleasantly surprised. It's definitely not for everybody. It's very artsy. It's very out there. It's very... You don't know what's happening. It's very up to interpretation, but I really enjoy it. I like that kind of fantasy. I think it's really enjoyable. I, it's a movie that you want to go and watch again because you have to digest it. You really do. You have to figure out what's going on. You have to dissect it. You have to take in the cinematography, the storytelling, everything about it. It's just a great movie, all right? Again, hit or miss. Some people are absolutely going to love it. Some people are absolutely going to hate it. Some people just aren't going to get it, but I absolutely loved it. And then finally, for movies, I picked up the newest DCEU movie, The Suicide Squad. This movie was such a good movie, all right? The first Suicide Squad, I enjoyed. I did. I didn't think it was a great movie, but I enjoyed a lot of the acting choices and some of the chemistry between the actors and stuff like that. The extended cut is better. But when they announced that James Gunn was penning a Suicide Squad movie, I was on board from the minute it was announced. James Gunn created the Guardians of the Galaxy, and those were phenomenal movies doing the D Suicide Squad, doing DC, I was so excited, and he did not disappoint. This movie is so much fun. The acting's great. The characters are great. It, you get to see all these not well-known characters or characters you don't think would look good on screen, and he does them well. It's hilarious. I can't wait to see what James Gunn does next with the Peacemaker show and what he's going to do with Guardians of the Galaxy 3. You got to go watch this movie, all right? I know DC movies are hit or miss, but The Suicide Squad is honestly better than a lot of MCU movies in recent memory. Well, when I say recent memory, I'm definitely not counting Endgame or Infinity War because those movies are phenomenal. But, like, I'm talking, like, this movie's better than, like, a Black Widow or uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp or something like that. It's, it's really good. Those were all the movies I picked up in the month of October. Let me know what movies from those you really liked or haven't seen yet and you want to go see. And let me know what movies you haven't picked up. And let me, let me know the movies you picked up. Now, let's get into video games. And for video games, I picked up one video game. And that's the new Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy game. This is by Square Enix. Oh my gosh, I know Square Enix. They made the Marvel Avengers game, which... It's no secret the Marvel Avengers game was a definitely a disappointment. But the story was good. The characters are good. Everything else about the game is not good. And I, I bought it day one, so... I'm being punished for it. But the Guardians of the Galaxy game is actually a really good game. Seriously, it's probably one of my game of year game of the year contenders, all right? This game is so good. It's got a great story, it's got great chemistry. You feel like you are in the Guardians of the Galaxy. You only play as Star-Lord, which some people are going to love, some people are going to absolutely hate, but I think it works with the story they're trying to tell and how he's the team leader. So of course you want to play as the team leader. Seriously, you should play Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't like don't let Marvel's Avengers do you wrong, all right? Don't let him scare you away from a Square Enix Marvel game. This one is definitely more of the quality of Spider-Man. Now, Spider-Man is huge. It's like up here, and Guardians of the Galaxy is right here, and Avengers is like all the way down here. This game was so good. So good. I'd recommend picking it up. And now, let's get into the Funko Pop figures. And for these, I picked up a couple of them. So first, I picked up this cute little gizmo. Look at him. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? Look at that. He's 
Gizmo from Gremlins. I absolutely love the two Gremlins movies. Gremlins one is obviously better than Gremlins two, but I love them both. But look at him. He carries around a little sun, little three D glass. He's he's adorable. And along with him, you can't pick up Gizmo without picking up a Gremlin as well. You gotta pick up the evil form. And I love how they took the three D glasses he was holding and put them on his face. And he has a little a little, a little drink cup too. Look at him. Just great sculpts, great mold. Again, I love the Gremlins movies. If you haven't seen Gremlins, go watch Gremlins. And then along with them, I picked up Charizard. Now, I've been trying to pick up all the Funko Pops that Pokemon's been doing. I've been trying to pick up all the Pokemon Funko Pops, and so far I have gotten pretty much everyone except for Mew. I don't think I have Mew. I don't believe. They're all, like, behind me, like, up there if you can see them. My, my, light, might be, my light might be too bright. It's really bright. It's kind of making my eyes water, but... This is one of the latest ones. It's Charizard, beautifully sculpted. It's just great. Seriously, they put so much detail into these Pokemon Pops, and they're absolutely amazing. Along with Charizard, I picked up Horsey, the uh, the po the uh, whatever the water horse. What what's, what's the name? I don't know the name, but I picked this up. All right, it's Horsey from Pokemon. Adorable. He floats. You know, look at that. It's an adorable sculpt. It's it doesn't look like a Funko Pop. No, it looks like the Pokemon, and that's what I love about the Pokemon Pop figures. And then with those, I picked up three Avatar The Last Airbender Pops. First, we got this one. Her name's May. That's her name, right? 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 I believe that's her name. May. Look at her. She's just a BAM exclusive, but I took her out of the box because I'm not going to sell her. But look at her. It's absolutely phenomenal. They've put a lot of heart into these um, Avatar The Last Airbender Pops, and I just love these. I mean, look at that. Look at those. She's got two little weapons. She just, she's just done with us. Along with that, I picked up Ty Lee in her nice little pose. Look at that. Seriously, another great Avatar The Last Airbender Pop. I mean, just look at that braid. It's just, it just looks phenomenal. They really outdid themselves with these. But if you think that's good, just you wait. Just you wait. I've been looking for this one for a long since it was announced. This is Aang in the Avatar state. Look at that. He's got wind, air, well, air, not wind, air circling him. He's got fire around him. He's got water and he's got earth. Look at it's just this is a great pop. They really outdid themselves here. My it's it's a ball, so I can just roll it around, throw it at my cat or something. And it's it's just it's absolutely phenomenal. It was expensive, but it was worth it. But yeah, that is all the stuff that I picked up in the month of October. Please let me know what you picked up in the comments below. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. You know, all it does, all the fun stuff us YouTubers tell you guys who do. And I hope to see you. I really do. I hope to see you in the next video.